One last classification, folks, as we roll into minute number, you know, 89 of this podcast. <laughs> to 6A, and we will start with 6A Division 2. Let's talk about it. Uh, mm -hmm. There's our predictions. You can find all the predictions and everything you need. For playoff brackets, pairings, at texasfootball.com slash playoffs. We'll start with Region 1 in 6A Division 2. And really what's interesting is... Three of us are on Byron Nelson. Two of us, including our intrepid producer, Mallory Hartley, mm -hmm. you're rolling with the South Lake Carroll Dragons. Yeah, and it's just one of those things where I think that it's clear that Byron Nelson and South Lake Carroll are the two best teams in mm. Region 1, and mm -hmm. that they're inevitably going to meet up again. And I think that I give South Lake Carroll the hand there. Okay. I also think that South Lake Carroll – they fall at the top of region of the top of the region one bracket, mm -hmm. and I think that's a bit of an easier path than Byron Nelson has to go through. So Byron Nelson, um, to me, if this if if the Carol Nelson game were closer, I would entertain that. Mm -hmm. But I think that the fact that Nelson really dominated, um, that's Carol fair. the first time they played, that to me is what what gives me gives me pause and why I think. Byron Nelson can beat them again if they were to meet. Well, I'm also I also did that. I also picked them too because of experience um, in the playoffs. South Lake Carroll. Do I hear any love from McKinney? Hmm, they've. I mean, when they play well, they're so good. They're so mm -hmm. good, but then they would also likely, all due respect to your Colts, have a matchup against Highland Park, which just has something mm -hmm. written all over it that it's like. Yep. And I mean, Flower Mound Marcus, they have not been great. This year, but it just make McKinney just makes me nervous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're it's just so hot or cold. They're either going to absolutely destroy any of those teams, I could, or they're gonna they, fart they, around. They strike me as the kind of team that could get hot at the right time, like right now, and, and win the go. Region. Yeah. Um, game of the week. <laughs> Didn't Geyer and Coppell, folks? God. Um, that's insane. Also, if Coppell was to win and Byron Nelson and Coppell played, that's a matchup I would love Byron to Nelson see. Byron Nelson-Coppell would be a great matchup. Matchup mm -hmm. of unbeatens there in the regional semifinals. Um, Geyer Coppell is interesting. Uh, yeah, but I think it's, I think it's, I think you're right. I think the power nexus is in district four. Cause mm -hmm. I think the top, cause the top two teams from that district both went there. Yes. And so I think Carol and, and Nelson are the two best teams in region mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Region two, not a whole lot to see here. DeSoto. Now we all picked DeSoto. Mm -hmm. So is a number one team. DeSoto's are our pick to win Region 1, as you'll see in a moment. They're also our pick to win the state championship. DeSoto looks awesome. No notes. Also, Region 2 is a lot better. It's a lot better this year. They could play in consecutive weeks Willis mm -hmm. or Tomball Memorial. Mm -hmm. And then they could play a team like Pflugerville Weiss in a regional final. Like... This is a dangerous region, and DeSoto's going to have to be on their game each week. I think they're going to be. I think that they. I think that they are the best team in six A Division two. Yeah. But, that like, that Thanksgiving game against Willis would be crazy. DeSoto and Willis would be, would be a banger. Awesome. Um, because Weiss, I think they if they got to the regional final and they paired up against Weiss, I think they pair up very well with Weiss mm -hmm. because Weiss has a stable of running backs. But I think the DeSoto corners are really good, mm -hmm. and so. I'll be interested to see that, but the the Willis game would be that's fireworks factory. Region three were unanimous in Summer Creek. So what's interesting is that Katie, if you didn't hear, Katie went to the Division One bracket, so they will not be back to defend their regional crown. That opens up the region, and Summer Creek looks like, in my opinion, the clear favorite here. Yeah, um, I think that defense is nasty. It's nasty. Mm -hmm. That running game's nasty. With that said. I also like Fort Penn Hightower. I think C.E. King has something to say. Think, that would be a rematch of a district matchup. I think C.E. King would like another piece of him. I think Katie Jordan is I think Katie good, Jordan, too. Has that first-round really matchup, good. Jordan Hightower, is a That's really a good one. first-round yes. matchup. Yeah. Um, region, region 3, because Katie left, it makes it so interesting. I think we all like Summer Creek. They look like the most complete, mm -hmm. complete team. And that defense is going to travel. But Region 3 is really interesting. And then Region 4. I made this point earlier. The biggest win... The best draw of any team in Texas high school football coming out of week 11 is the Sibilo Steel Knights, mm -hmm. okay? Who were looked like they were pegged for Division One, 
and looked like Vandegrift was pegged for Division and Two. And then San Antonio East Central yep. won and bumped them <laughs> and down. And then they flipped. And then they yes. flipped. And so now because Steel. Because Shirts Clements lost. Because Shirts. <laughs> wild stuff. And now Steel is the pick of Ashley Pickle, Ishmael Johnson, and Matt Stepp for Region 4. Mm-hmm. This team is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. They're J- insane. Jalen Cooper, Chad Warner, all these playmakers they got, they are outrageous. Defensively, they're good too. Mallory Hartley and I are t- taking dripping springs. And here's Drip. why. Here's why. Because it's Austin and San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. I know. And, and I just, it's always- until it happens, yep. it's like what we were talking about with Region 3 and Region 4, with Timpson uh, of 2A Division 1, yep. with Timpson and Refurio. Do I think Timpson is better than Refurio? Hmm. Yeah, I might it's think so. It's a coin so. flip game. It's a coin flip type game. But in a coin flip type game, which I think Steel this and Drip would be. into the playoffs. Austin has the Austin number has San Antonio's number. Mm-hmm. I want to believe. Yeah. I want to believe. But Dripping Springs, by the way, is certainly good. They have a win over Lake Travis. See, mm-hmm. I went it's with. Steel lost to Lake yeah. Travis. I went with my logical thing in 2A Division One, So I had to go with my <laughs> heart in this one. And that's why I think I just. You want it to happen, and it, that's that's nothing to do with Dripping Springs. They just happen to be the one that it would be done to. Mm-hmm. You just want to see a San Antonio team push through. And I remember last year watching Steel in week one of the season, mm-hmm. and then now this year it was like, okay, this is a young team. They're going to get much better, and they're huge. Mm-hmm. They are massive, and I think that that could really affect the play against Dripping Springs. I'm I'm putting my eggs okay. in the Civil O Steel that's basket. Fine. I think Steel. I think Steel is. A, aside from DeSoto, there's an argument to be made they're the most talented team in this bracket. Yes, I think so. And and if if it's gonna be a if it's gonna be a San Antonio team, it's either gonna be them or it's gonna be Smithson Valley and the one we talked about beforehand. And I think Civil O Steel has a better matchup to beat an Austin team than a DeSoto Civil O Steel uh, matchup would be a rematch of the 2016 title game. Mm-hmm. We all picked DeSoto to win the state championship. Um, again, yeah. I think I think their biggest challenge is going to be getting out of their own region, mm-hmm. getting out of region two. If they get out of Region 2, I think they'll be favored the rest of the way. I agree. They'll be favored in the semifinal of Region 1. I think they'll be favored in the state championship game against Region 3 or Region I 4. I think the speed that they have mm-hmm. would kill any of those teams in Region and 3 I just think, yeah. I just think, I just think that Bailey's such a good DJ Bailey too. and Booby Feaster and yep. Dylan Singleton and just the playmakers. And if they get Tiger Ryden back, watch They're out. They're lethal. <laughs> anyway. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.